I'm here in the shop this morning. Got my second coat of paint put on here. So it's pretty dry now. So I think I'm gonna try and put these walls up. Uh, normally, I wouldn't be hesitant whatsoever, but like I said, I've never done this model Scotty. Remember, it's a 78, 1978, 15-foot JS. Hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of this uh, video or any of my videos, would you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend. It would really help uh, our channel, and I do really appreciate it. Curly appreciates it too. So this is flat. There's no drop down, nothing like that. So I'm going to give this a try, try to get it done, get it put up, and I'll show you how, kind of how I'm going to do it. A few videos back, I told you that there's always some tips and tricks that uh, can make your life a lot easier. And uh, here's one, I'm gonna show you the problem and I'm gonna show you how it's solved. And it'll take a little extra time, but I think you're gonna save that time and the frustration because I know when, when I'm trying to get this stuff on here on the front, so on your Scotty, we've got just our regular plywood right here. And then, You've got to take your Luan, which is, you know, a really thin underlayment, and you get it set on here real good, and got to make sure it's exactly the same width, put it over here, and then kind of trying to hold it, you really have to start nailing it in here, but then and see what it's doing we're off a little bit. This has to come over, the top has to come over to get a little bit more square. And then when you start doing this, if you notice, it doesn't want to bend here. You can, you can nail that in, but then as soon as you do this, off of that curve, it's gonna pull that nail out of the bottom. So you can see just by watching that first part that it's very difficult. Very difficult. Uh, if you had two people, yeah, you could probably do that. I don't, I rarely have two people, um, but when I do, it's just so much easier. But this is gonna take the place of that other person. Let me show you how I solved that problem. So here's how I tried to solve this problem. I cut my Luan underlayment to the correct length, and then, I have to cut my ribs, my joists, if you will, to the exact same length, and then wood glue. Smear it up real good with some wood glue, flop that down, just like these are, and then clamp them. So I clamped this one last night, so it's been on here a long time. So if it's gonna stick, it's really gonna stick now. So we'll check that real quick. Yeah, that's not, that's not going anywhere. That is there to stay. Now on this side, I had to measure for my window because this is the one that's going right on the front. So I had to measure from the bottom of the metal on the front up 35 inches. So this is 35 inches. Now this plate right here, this is gonna be where our window gets screwed into. So it's gotta be really strong right there. So I screwed it, and I only was able to get a clamp on each end, but I took these old weight plates and put them on there to create the same kind. We'll see if that stuff. It's been on there all night. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. So now I'm gonna take this, flip it around, and I'm gonna put it up and see if it did help me at all. All right, let's give this a shot. Oh 
going to start the screw on each end here. Try this other side. We'll move this one out a touch. Make it even. And there you go. It's got the nice, perfect bow that it should have. I didn't have to fight it. It didn't fight me. I highly recommend taking the 30 minutes that it takes for this glue to dry to do this. Because you saw, it's even windy in here today and it still just took me less than two minutes so i highly recommend trying this little tip and trick <laughs> 